Hi guys, Adam here and welcome back to the reveal at Adam's Toyland. This is my 300 subscriber special and in this subscriber special, this is going to be the first ever gaming video on this channel. Today I'm going to be playing Wild Kratts Monkey Mayhem. Let's go. Okay, so here is... I don't know what is wrong with the sound of the game, but in the in the first level gets you like used to the controls. You in each level you collect three monkeys and thirty pieces of fruit for Grabsy's birthday party. Okay. So the first level is pretty easy. I don't know what's wrong with the sound though. Well, when you typically make the, when you typically collect the fruit, it makes a little ding noise. But I don't know why that is doing that stuff. All right. All right. And all right. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so here's the second monkey. There's basically three stages of each level. And I just completed two of them. And they're these little yellow things. I don't know what they're called, but I call them bee balls because when they... When you touch them, they hurt you. And you don't lose lives in this game. The other things that can hurt you are spiky gray rocks and some other enemy that will appear in level 5, which are called panthers. Oh, these are the spiky rocks. They hurt you too. Alright, so Martin's through and... Chris is through. Next. Level one complete. Let's move on to level two. Okay, so level two starts off with Chris being in this little ravine thing and he's collecting one piece of fruit and he's being trapped by this dead tree type obstacle thing. How do you think that will be resolved? Well, when you switch to Martin, there's actually it out. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. But there's actually creature power discs in this game. So there's the rhino disc. All right. Activate rhino power. All right. So what basically this rhino power does is when you hold the Z key down, it this little bar will go green, go blue, and then green when it's ready. And then when you let go, it makes Martin charge. So, so this is the same like setup to the last level. You complete every single. There's thirty fruit and thir three monkeys in each level, and. So, yeah. The levels get harder than this. As the game progresses, the, the game gets harder. Alright, so. Also, what the Rhino Power Suit can do is let you walk through these prickly thorn bushes. And when you're out of the Rhino Suit... It does hurt you. I'm not going to test that out. But here's some more fruit. And there's the second monkey. Woo! Got it. Oof. Ow. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright. Monkey Mayhem is actually a really fun game. There are 12 levels in this game. And I'm going to be covering all 12 of them in this video. So, yeah. 
here's another dead tree that Martin just got up. These little platform things are usually how you get around. This is a platforming game. Well, this is different. This is an easier... Ooh, this is an easier game than Mario, but... Firstly, you don't lose lives, and V, you don't kill enemies, but... Here's the finish line! Woo! Here is Chris in the finish line. Oopsie! <laughs> I think I need Chris again. To open that portal back up again. Alright. Chris can go back to the finish line. Chris can go back to the finish line. And... The, what these things are, are, they are little green platform, little green floaty things. And, yep, there's a third monkey. Like what I like to do when I enter the fin approach the finish line with a power suit, I deactivate it first, then go into it, and boom, level two is done. Let's move on to level three. All right, so here is level three. So as you collect power disks, they stay up here on this little counter thing. I don't know what it is called, but let's activate the Rhino power and get going. And so this level starts off with a new item to the game. These boulders actually, the Rhino power suit can move them which is pretty cool and like the last two levels this is like three 30 fruit three monkeys i don't know why i did that but whatever <laughs> all right there are three stages like i said in level two the, le le the level two segment of this video and yep each level has their own little obstacles, like these returning bee balls, I call them. <laughs> they basically stop you from completing your mission. And this part, ow! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oof. Ow. <sighs> and, yep. There's the first monkey. Ow. Okay, I'm not going to be running into bee balls on purpose like that. But what I am going to do is to finish this level. Alright, so the returning thorn bush is part of this level. And... And so... The fruit and monkeys are basically scattered all over the place. So, if you know what you're doing, you know where everything is. So, <laughs> I actually played this game like thousands of times and I've completed this game like over a thousand. So, I'm pretty good at this game. Oops. Alright. Get on these platforms and grab that one and... Second monkey collected. If you don't want to say, repeat that same pro ow, that same process again, there is another way to get to the next stage is through that. All right, here's some more of those boulders. Boom. Boom. All right, so. Actually, these are... This this game is actually one of the easier platformers. Ah, there's the third monkey. And I almost completed all the fruit. I mean, collected them. Alright, so got the third monkey and whoopsie. <laughs> and deactivate. 
The reason the sound in this game does not work because I don't have speakers to my computer. And boom, level three is complete. Let's move on to level four. All right, so here is level four. So in this little level here, it is actually quite harder than the first three levels. Martin is stuck in that little chasm and a little dead end is up in front of him. And there's a button back there, which this power suit, the spider monkey power suit, can deal with. So let's collect the spider monkey powers disc. All right, so here is the monkey power disc. So yeah, here we go. Activate spider monkey power. All right, so the spider monkey power suit looks like how it does in the show. I mean, all the power suits do. And here's the first monkey. Now, how the controls for this power suit X to climb and Z to throw nuts. And you are going to see in a little bit how those nuts are used. As I hit the Z key right here. And these nuts are actually to push those buttons. So that opens those. Let's take Chris back here for a little bit. And... Alright. Let's get Martin moving. Dig up that tree. It's actually a dead tree. Knock that boulder in there. And get, ooh. Here's a cool little section. These green moving platforms are arranged in a little weird way. Here's a, there's another button for the spot. Oops, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. And let's get back up there. And jump now. Get that boulder into there. Move Chris again. Have him climb those vines. All right. And here's the second monkey. All right. So that's actually, oops. All right. And now. Good. Actually, there's, ooh, <laughs> this is more of the, this is one of the more challenging stages to this level. I'm going to leave Chris right there and Martin to go in this with two B-balls because, yeah, he, there's this boulder that needs to be in here. All right. And now Chris can climb the vines. Hey, what do you know? Uh-oh, that bee ball is closing on me. Nope, it's not. Woo! And... Alright, need to grab those vines again. And... Collecting the rest of the fruit. And here's the last monkey. And... Here's the finish line. Deactivate. Go in the finish line. And deactivate. Go into the finish line. And boom. Level four is done. Let's move on to level five. Okay, so level five is actually really different from level four because all of these levels are different from each other. And as you can probably it as you can probably notice, the setting of the level is surprisingly is kind of dark a little bit. The jungle is more dark. So this level of 
introduces like one of the most annoying obstacles in this game, which are, I think we're going to do that in a few minutes here. Hmm. Here's the first monkey. Woo! -hoo! The annoying enemy is not here either, which is good. But I think it's going to be on the third one. So. Monkeys and fruit in this game are placed in weird spots, but I know where everything is. As I probably mentioned, I am pretty good at this game. So, yeah. And another section, just like level four with this b-ball here, which is pretty annoying. I can dodge that. All right, got the second monkey. Nice. All right. Ah. Here is the brand new enemy I was talking about. These guys are panthers. If you stand in front of one or one notices you, this is what happens. Well, <laughs> they're pretty dangerous, so if you see them, it's best to get out of their way. <laughs> so, a lot of levels in this level, I mean, a lot of... Two of the three monkeys are on these high ledges here. And have Martin get through here, getting past that panther. Ugga, oh my gosh. Ow! <laughs> it got me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't lose levels because, I mean, lives. I don't think there are lives in this game, but if there were, you would be losing lots of them from those guys. And here the... How these things work is you step on these little buttons here and these dead ends that are shaped like branches and leaves, they open up and you can go to the final, you can go to the stage of the level. And here's a little bit of, all right. Well, <laughs> all right. Deactivate. And Chris is in the finish line. Deactivate. Martin's in the finish line. All right. So, level five is finished. Let's move on to level six. Okay, so in this level, level six, is Chris is on that little ledge there, and Martin is going to probably rescue him about. Ooh, a new power up, aka a power disc, the kangaroo. Let's collect it. All right, the kangaroo power disc is unlocked. All right, how the kangaroo power, let's just activate it first. How, what, how this power suit works is just put the, whoa, <laughs> just push the X key for a double, like, it's like a jump, but three times as high. And the kangaroo power suit is good for avoiding panthers, which are those black things down there. So, let's get that open and get the first monkey. Woo! And it lit up. All right. And get Martin down here. Have Chris brachiate from here. All right. Nut to there, and now this stage now. All right, no fruit up here, so. All right, switch to 
rhino power. All right, get that boulder down there. Okay, get Martin down there. All right. Second monkey. All right, get these fruits. And open that up. All right, go up here. Switch to Rhino Power. All right. These actually are, these snake, these are actually new to the game. Um, so these guys, so how these guys work is that they don't hurt you in any way, but they stop you from moving if you get too close to them. The only way to get rid of them is find this tail thing and touch it. And it goes in there. And. Alright. Whoa. Ow. Didn't even do that. <laughs> Alright. Third monkey. Nice. Deactivate. Get Martin over there. Deactivate. Level six is finished. Let's move on to level seven. Okay. So for this level, Martin is trapped here. Let's activate Rhino Power and just in case. But Chris actually still at the show. There's actually a new power up around here somewhere. Ah, there's the Aardvark Power Disc. Let's get it and go. Aardvark Disc and activate Aardvark Power. So how you get this, get the Aardvark Power working, is um, press the Z key on the keyboard to, to dig and then there's a long sticky tongue as well. Which is also activated by the Z key. Alright, let's get Martin down here. Actually, Martin is wearing the good... Alright. <laughs> All right, switch to Rhino. Switch to Spider Monkey. All right, so here's actually the Arvark Power Suit's tongue. It is also activated by the Z key on the keyboard. All right, so another digging situation. In this section, you need to avoid these bee balls to get to there and dig that up. Oof. Yeah, you need to look out for the bee balls. They really hurt you. And... Kangaroo power. I don't know why I did that, but it will come in handy soon. All right, another python or boa or whatever it's called. All right, and second monkey. Good. 
Looking okay, good. Good. Ow! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, let's get. All right. Swap to Spider Monkey Powers. Wait for the bee balls to go up, then move. All right, and Aardvark power again. All right, spider monkey power. Okay, I need to wait for that green floating platform thing to... Third monkey already, nice. All right, so let's just make it to that finish line then. All right, oops, <laughs> got the, an easier way to get fruit is to splash out with that sticky tongue and, and collect it. All right, deactivate. All right, ooh, those ants can't hurt you if you're not in the aardvark suit. Oof. Oopsie. <laughs> Alright. Oof. Alright. Deactivate. Deactivate. Alright. Get Martin to the finish line and boom! Level 7 is finished. Let's move on to level 8. Okay, so level 8 is here. So we need Mar we need Chris. In the orange bark suit, dig up this. Whoopsie. Well, whatever. Ah, there we go. And now, ugh. <laughs> whatever. All right. I need the rhino disc. Nope. Kangaroo disc. I should have hit the double Q because they're right next to each other. Now I need the rhino disc. All right. All right. So this little section, if we get, when we get Martin to that point. Okay. So this section of the level is actually kind of tricky. So these B balls are going from back and forth. And if you're not careful, that could happen. <laughs> and if you're not careful, that will hit. And I'm going to see if how many tries it takes to get that. All right. If you know what you're doing, you can finish this little section of the level pretty quickly. All right. Grant. Dig up that and convert to, oh, that actually helped. <laughs> All right, so Rhino Power. All right, get Martin and Chris both down there and switch to Arnvark and Kangaroo, because we'll need them. And there's the first monkey. Perfect. Now let's get Martin over here and Chris is in the right suit. All right, and yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, switch to spider monkey. All right, switch to aardvark again. Ants. All right. Switch to Spider Monkey again. Climb these vines. Get this second monkey. Go into our bark power just in case if the ants get there. And then quickly activate into Spider Monkey power and leap off. 
So, getting... All right. Dig, 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 dig. Get this thing out of the way. All right. Oof. I don't know why I'd put Martin in there. Oof. Maybe kangaroo power wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> All right. Rhino power to get through the brambles and charge through that dead tree. And, um, all right, let's get Chris in here and Level eight is complete. Let's move on to level nine. Okay, so this, all right, so this part of the game is actually, ugh, one of the most annoying stages in the entire game. All right, all right, getting the second monkey, good, and, oh boy, the bee balls, I got they really, ugh, <laughs> the bee balls are the main reason that this stage is annoying. Ah, oh, because they do that. <laughs> but I'll get through it. All right. Why does he do? All right, got through it. Great. All right. Now, actually, I'm going to do do the next stage. 
All right, kangaroo power Level nine is complete. Let's move on to level 10. All right, for this level, is going to be on the easier side. All right, so. All right, new power up. Draco power. What this baby does is You pre press the X key, X key to to glide. I think the Draco power suit is like the coolest Chris power suit, and the coolest Martin power suit is either the Rhino or is probably the Kangaroo or Basilisk. Ask actually, all six suits of the Crack Brothers are cool. Stage is going to be a mix between the Arnvark and Draco power suits. All right, level 10 is complete. Let's move on to level 11. Level 11, all right. 
So, first power suit will be Spider Monkey. Be oh, I was wrong. Our bark. <laughs> All right. Spider Monkey again. Okay, Spider Monkey is going to be used a lot in this first section. Okay, this, if you thought that the stage I thought was annoying in level 9 was annoying, this stage is annoying as well. And it also goes to the B balls. But I got the first monkey and good. Alright. Rhino for Martin because we will need it. So this stage is going to be a mix between the Spider Monkey and Draco Power Suits. Alright, switch to Kangaroo. There's these cool wind current things that pull the Draco Lizard power suit up. So that's cool. Panther. I totally forgot he was that Panther was in this episode. Or level. Alright. Level 11 is complete. And let's move on to level 12. Alright. Let's do this. This is the final. Oops. Oops, okay. <laughs> so level 12 starts off with, so level 12 starts off with a kind of a failure, kind of. I thought, <laughs> like, I spoke too soon, but whatever. But I got through it. Oops, because of that water down there. Basilisk. And run.
Oopsie. monkey all righty deactivate our Draco get out of Rhino all right level 12 is complete now let's go to Grabzy's birthday party Okay, so this is not really a level, but um, it's like a free space that you can use your power suits in. But <laughs> yeah, this is not really um. So this is this area is basically the final stage, and I think that Gravity's little dance is super adorable. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below to subscribe. Oh, I got f the final results. 360 out of th 360 and 36 monkeys out of 36 monkeys. Awesome. Again, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below to subscribe. Click the picture of Tinsel to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving video games. See you later. Bye. Thank you for 300 subscribers.